Hello, hello! It's me, Mel LG. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic... God, is it Thursday? I cannot believe we finally hit Thursday. Absolutely bless up. I could not find my glasses, so we are gonna commit to the fact that I'm gonna be a little bit blind. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do I really need them? Are they just for aesthetics? I'm not sure. I feel like my face is very bland without them. Like, very, like, paper face, boring. Um, anyway, as you can tell, we are actually starting incredibly early today. I had to bust my butt. I had to get up early, start work early, work through my lunch to make this happen. My husband and I realized that tonight is the last night to go see the Godzilla 1 movie. So, <laughs> we, uh... We gotta make that work, and there's only one showtime we can actually make, so it has really shifted my schedule off kilter, but that's okay. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you're like, bro, I truly do not care, and I don't blame you. That is totally fine. If you didn't see it in the title, we are playing Rogue Tower, then later today we're hopefully gonna squeeze in a little bit of Skyrim just to top off the day. I am so sorry that especially if you are watching on YouTube, my YouTube content has been delayed. I have been so ill lately. It has been a lot to be dealing with, and then the last couple times I've tried to stream, I have had ungodly amounts of tech difficulties, so we are just working with what we've got. We're gonna make do. I'm so sorry. I will get caught up soon. I promise. We are gonna go back to our regular schedules, our regular scheduled content. Um, we are playing Rogue Tower. I recall last time we did Rogue Tower, we did a Mortar Ballista build, and I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what, I haven't done a, a no Ballista setup yet, and I was like, okay, well that's gonna be too high level for poor little Mel, so we're not gonna be doing that. Um, but I was like, oh, haha, -ha. also we are getting like house galore, a little town villaggio bread today. Um, give me some broadhead bolts off the bat. I don't want to do mortars back to back, I'd really love to try and do... I think I want to do encampments for the ones that I unlock. Oh, you gave me like the little tease of a cinnamon bun? I don't think you actually have like, yeah, anything adjacent to you. Bro! Okay, they got him, but like, that was a little too spicily close. <sighs> Shields? Enchanted bolts? I don't love the placement of this, but it will have to do for now. That'll do. Donkey, give me a left hand turn. Thank you. Thank you, TY, TY. I'm gonna put a thing there as well. I think also one here could be hugely beneficial for us. Even one here. But that's like a later down the line. Let's wait that out. Let's wait it out. Let's also get a couple of these not on that. Let's put you on most health and let's put you on least health. Bleed. I do love some bleed. I would love broadhead bolts too, but I think bleed because again we have broadhead bolts one. I think that will hopefully guarantee that we're gonna be okay to get it a second time. Put that there. I don't think you're actually doing anything. Like, I kind of would just rather have you be lower, but be money. Yoss. Yoss Queen. More bleed. Banditry's been doing me dirty lately. I'm not 100% ready to go back to it. Frost keeps we've done a lot of lately. So I guess I will just go for more bleed. Give me a left hand turn. Oh, you tease me. You tease me, honey buns. I don't know if that plus two is necessarily that good. I think this one is better. I wish there was like a setting for unprogress. You were hitting like as far behind as you possibly could. But I guess that would be... It could never truly hit the last one unless it was truly hitting the last one. Yes, I understand that sentence didn't make sense, but 99.9% .9 of what comes out of my mouth is not coherent. I have realized that my English, English, English language capabilities are definitely subpar. I always blame dyslexia. I do not actually think it's dyslexia. I think I'm just mildly dumb. But look, I embrace it. I'll be a little bit of a bimbo. I don't have any issues with that. No quarrels over here. You ain't got nothing on me. Give me a most health. I know these are plus probably fours. No, they're only plus threes. I will beef this up later. I'd love to see a fork if we're gonna get an early fork right there to have this beef right after. Gold. Gold. I 
really want to give me mortars, frost keeps, and banditry. Three things that I'm not necessarily interested in. If I'm interested in the encampments, they don't use mana bank. I could go with either of these. Let's go for this and pray we get some fire. Give me a left hand turn. We're straight lining it, boys. We're straight lining it. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. It's okay. Not the perfect setup, but it's hard to ask for the perfect setup. Hello, Kelsey. Happy Thursday. It's always a pleasure to see you sneak in here. So glad. Oh, we should have gone for poison, I guess. That's okay, though. Finally back with, like, Norm, but also early, so not Norm. I don't even think I know what normacy is at this point. I think I'm just, like, riding by the seat of my pants and, like, thriving. I don't know if anyone even is thriving at this point, unless, like, you're a TikTok star. Like, honestly, a little jealous. I'm kind of, like, too old for TikTok, but, like, I was too young for Vine. I kind of fell right in the middle. I did live through my Neopets era, which is really funny because I still use the same email. One of my emails is like the same email I have had since I was like, oh, encampments, bless up. Um, since I was like literally 10. <laughs> in fact, I really want to like super encampment this area. You son of a gun, I'm not in. Oh, you tease me with the turn. Um, so I use the same email since I was like literally 10. Like, you know it's old because it's a hotmail. And then I was like, oh, I'm gonna switch it over because you know, Outlook did the thing where you could switch over from hotmail to Outlook so you didn't feel like you were like 10 years old anymore. And it's like, nah, that email's already used. And I was like, who the F has my name? Who has my name? It's fine, it's fine, I get it. Um, but I got an email from Neopets being like, Hey, we finally updated everything the first time since 2002. And I was like, what? Casually going to go back to Neopets. Um, I don't know if I want this because I think I want the, what do you guys do? What do you do? You mostly do armor, which is pretty good. You know what, maybe I will. I'll let these guys be health, but I will actually get these guys beefed up on some shields. Give me, like, a turn and give me some cinnamon bun. Oh my god, you're just being absolutely rude to me. This is, like, literal hell for them. Can we make some money, though, please? Pretty please? Oh my god, I, had, I like truly, I was like, oh, it'll be fine, I don't have my glasses on, and now I'm like, I can't see emotes, I can't see anything. Reading chat's gonna be like, you're gonna see the old lady squint at everything. Also, that's how I know I'm like definitely becoming more and more blind gradually, is I'll go into like a fast food chain or something. Oh, gain range? Oh, but poison. Let's go range, because like, we're probably gonna get freaking railed by the oogie that like doesn't take damage over time. Because I think the game has caught on to the fact that damage over time is my my bread and butter and the only thing that I think I'm capable of winning a game with. But it's fine. Casual. We're thriving. We feel good. Happy Thursday. I was talking to my husband yesterday. And he's like, I think Wednesdays are my least favorite day of the week. And it makes sense because he usually works late on Wednesdays because I um, I work my second job on Wednesday nights. So I work late. I work till like 8, which actually means 8.30, sometimes 9. I work very late. And then he will be like, oh, I'll stay at work a little bit, get caught up on stuff, you know, I'm not missing anything at home. He'll come home, then he'll go to the gym. Gym takes a few hours, so he doesn't get home until late as well. <sighs> damage to health, or do I want ballistas damage to health? Do I even want damage to health? I think the list of range is better. Because they can't shoot out more than whatever they're shooting out, can they? Yeah. 
I'm gonna do this. Do, do, do. I'm waiting for Broadhead Wolves too. Actually, was that Broadhead Wolves? Oh! We might be able to get the... Oh my god, my brain! We might be able to get the range upgrade now for the Ballista, because if that was Broadhead Bolt 2, that's like the the progression, at least that's what I've been told. Thank you. This is like my, my favorite area now. These guys will also start leveling up health damage a lot because they're gonna be doing a lot of health damage. And I think that's how it works. The more they damage something, the more they level that up. Can I ask why you're not firing any out? Okay, thank you. Is it because like oh no he is. It was Broadhead Bolts too. This is pretty good, but I feel like I have poison on this. Thinking heavy shafts could also be good, but I kind of would rather if I could get armor damage on my encampments. So I think I'm gonna do this. Again, I'm scared. I'm so scared. She scares me, queen. Give me a left-hand turn. Arrgh! And a flat square. You are truly out here trying to ruin my life. needs to be on like most health. Or you can be on near death and then least health. Whoop. Whoop. Too far. Whoop. No, I want most health. So you're at least targeting, me, targeting different ones. Dude, I am stumbling over my words today. Getting absolutely tongue-tied. Also, this is like one of the most random anecdotes, but like, have you even seen my content? Is it not ever normal anecdotes? Um, ooh, my email. Um, I have, like, the shortest tongue known to man, I swear to God. Like, like, I can't, like, stick my tongue out, like, at all. I am, like, the true opposite, the true antichrist to Gene Simmons. And, like, I always, when I was a kid, because, like, that's when you stick your tongue out, like, at what point as an adult do you stick your tongue out unless you're, like, French kissing somebody? Like, you just... I don't know, you never really notice it, except for when you're a kid and you're like, everyone's sticking their tongue out and you're like, ugh, ugh, I can't, I cannot. It's such a weird, male-specific thing. But I was kind of self-conscious of it when I was a kid. I really like this. I kind of think, well, do we have flame? We do, no, we don't. Demons. I'm gonna go for frost bolts. It's like one of those things that like, there's lots of things. Like, when I was a kid, I got picked on for having, like, a upward-turned nose, which, like, when you check TikTok now, it's like, oh, but, like, that's the cute nose. That's the one you want, the little button nose. And I'm like, okay, well, when I was six years old, they used to call me pig nose, so can somebody, like, go back and, like, explain that to, like, my bullies? Because clearly they didn't get the TikTok memo. Um... Also, can we talk about how absolutely disgustingly toxic the whole lagging legs trend is right now? Like, are we stuck 20 years ago in 2004 when being unhealthily skinny was like the right thing? And how like any millennial and so many zoomers have like, hello Turkey, have like mental health problems with their weight because they were told that their natural normal bodies, their muscle structure, their just basic hips like width was not normal because I'm not okay with this whole this whole thing about the lagging legs thing if you don't know is like you're not supposed to wear leggings if your thighs touch bro everybody's thighs touch I'm like one of the smallest sizes mostly because I'm like four foot nothing but good god my thighs touch everybody's thighs touch and if they don't unless like you are doing something like you're a professional athlete you're like a high fitness person or you're a model and it's required for your job or you're just somebody who you know you're at a healthy weight and you're happy your thighs should probably at least touch a little bit um 
Landmines do damage to health, landmines do damage to armor. I kind of want this. I'd love the range up. I thought it was just two, but maybe it's three? Let's do this. Let's see how that goes. Let's see that, how that goes over. Okay. Prage for me. It'll be fine. I was gonna put him on most health, but... Put an encampment here. If it can reach this whole corner, that'd be lovely. We are very linear, and I'm not not really here for it. I'm not loving the vibe. Also, it is like the most so my part-time job is like working in a bridal boutique, so you see a lot of people's bodies. But I also work in a hospital, so you see a lot of people's body. So, in a normal base, like on a normal day, I see a lot of just normal human bodies. Just, it is what it is. Totally fine. It has been the most humbling thing because you realize that everybody's got like skin tags and everybody's got like maybe a little couple pimples on their back or some like hair in some spots or, you know, weird freckles or moles or everything or scars. And you feel so humbled by the fact that, like, if you have these things and you're self-conscious about it because you're just a normal human, because society tells you that these things are weird, they're not. I promise you they're not. But it is definitely comforting to be in these spaces where you get to see that stuff on other bodies and be like, oh, you know what? That's, like, that's totally fine. They're rocking it. Why can't I rock it, you know? Okay, these encampments are definitely putting in work. I kind of want to go for the shields, I think. Yeah. Got a twofer. We don't have burn yet, so this doesn't make a lot of sense, but we could prage for burn. Could get more slow, more damage to shields, or bleed time. I think I only have bleeds on ballista, but I think this might be better. And then this is our actual thing. So bleeding enemies can crit. I don't care necessarily about the range up. I don't necessarily care about more poison damage. I always take this and I don't know how much benefit it actually provides me. I could go for heavy shafts, but I think I'd love to just kind of go for this. I'm a, I'm a big crit fan, dude. I love my crits. Okay, can I get a left hand turn, please? Oh my God, why are you doing this to me? I need a thousand dollars. Almost had a thousand dollars till someone broke in and stole it. Broke your mama's heart. Underground Eminem fan. Or not underground, I just like closet. Closeted Eminem fan. <laughs> okay, I'd really love to put an encampment down that could do some shield damage back here, but like, I don't have money. Also, I'm a little worried about these shield- Well, this, we got this weird situation going and they are- they are layering them! There's like four or five in here! Holy good gracious. I know this one won't put out a lot, but, well, actually, it puts out enough. Holy. Does the encampment range change based on elevation? Looks like it, like it must. I feel like all the towers do. This side is really bad. This side is, needs some help. I'd really love to get you on some shield damage. It's not even costing that much. I don't care about range, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe you're watching this like, oh my god, Mel, you should care about range. It's like actually the most imperative thing. Can I get a right hand turn? Once again, you gave me what I asked for, but not exactly how I asked for it. Do I have any trees? Are we treeless in Seattle? These trees aren't giving me, like, anything. It's not work. Come on, Bloodless Mary. She's moving. 
And she's bleeding somehow. She didn't drop a dress. How disrespectful. Sounds, oh my goodness. Okay, so the encampments are putting in work. I do like slow. I do like increased bleed time. This, again, we don't care right now. We've been banking on fire, but we don't have fire yet. I do like the slow and fire synergy, but I'd kind of rather go for this, because I think this works against enemies that don't even have, like, that can't get affected by the damage over time. Okay, I really want to put down, like, 42 encampments in here and really ruin some lives. You know what? Demolish that. And put it here, and then put, like, a single ballista up here. It's targeting like no shield. And we'll really beef up this little area with encampments. Even if I put one there. Ooh. I think we're doing okay. I feel like this guy's not putting in enough work. Far are they getting? Do they just get to my hell zone and then just get eviscerated? Yeah, I can feel my lips are dry, which just makes me think I'm dehydrated. Like, what other reason would there for my lips being chronically dry other than the weather? And, like, the weather might be a good reason, but, like, thinking one there could be good, and then if we just ballista up this nightmare zone. You're getting a little too far. Death comes. Are you death? And are you coming? You kind of look like a little floaty enderman. What are you guys doing right now? You could do some armor and shield damage for sure. Yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade that. Please help. You can stay on progress then. Give me, please, a right hand turn. How rude. We don't even have any locations that are like really good haunted house spots anyway, so I'm kind of happy I didn't take those right away. If one arises, it's like immaculate. No, maybe we get them later. Okay, we got Colossus. He's schmoovin'. I can't tell if he's the green dude. I don't think he is. I think he's the black floaty enderman looking MFR. Yes. Thank you for slowing him so that I could see who it was. Glosses drop the chest. What's in there? Give me that loot box. I guess this. It's kind of the only one that looks really good us. We are struggling a little bit on the money front. I think because I haven't been utilizing all the houses, because like there's just not a lot going on down there that would necessarily warrant us utilizing them. The shields could be okay. Again, not worth it. Again, not worth it right now. 
Again, not worth it. I don't think we're struggling with health. I really think we're struggling with shields and armor. I do think I will choppy. Again, not the best choppy, but at least it's something. And then go for least armor, I guess, is the last one. Well, I guess most armor is least armor. Because if there's only one dude with the most armor, then... He's, or if there's only dude, one dude with armor, he's the dude with the most armor, you know? Okay, let's save up for some encampments. To really start putting in some work over here. My brain's kind of thinking that if I got rid of this, it's only $400, though. I could, honestly, actually just get rid of that one, because it's not really putting in any work right now, and I think I'd rather have my resources back here, where they could really start putting in some work. Rather than kind of leaving it as almost a last ditch. Because, like, to be honest, if they get through here, these guys just won't be able to do anything. If one dude maybe gets through, and he's got, like, a sliver of health, maybe. But in reality, I don't think this is going to actually be a good last line of defense. Which is why I was interested in maybe getting rid of one of these two. This looks like the horrible, but also so good. Where is the dude that's still alive? Oh, way down here. He teleported. Oh, 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 what? Okay. Okay. I don't have enough, so we're just gonna commit. Can I get a left hand turn? Darn. cruising together. Cute little couple. This is how me and my husband walk. The guy always walks in the front because he's like way taller than me so he's way faster than me. His gait is way longer. Then we got Dust Speck who's schmoovin'. He's about to get ripped apart. He's about to get ripped apart more in like the 40 seconds it's gonna take him to get here. Oh, you demon! Did you teleport through? Did you both really just like somehow make it through or teleport through? I guess you guys are getting some level up. That's good. Do, do. Poison, more poison. We could get them to start doing bleed damage. Shields is where we're struggling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I want to stagger these a little bit more. Mm 
Bro, are you even throwing like any out? Ooh, these are gonna get pricey real fast. In fact, they've already started to get like real pricey. Four fifteen, we can make that. Okay, there we go. Just to like hopefully work a little bit of the energy off of those dudes. I wish wish you could like increase the rate of fire. But that might be a little too overpowered. So honestly I get it. Death comes. Death comes to those who wait. This is awful. Like, they look like olives, also. No one's ever gonna make it here anymore. <laughs> this. Yeah. Doesn't matter right now. Don't need it. Eh. Because, like, this is not what I'm using to do health damage right now. And then banditry scares me. Hmm. Let's keep going this one for a bit. Same thing, just put a couple ballista down to like at least put in a little extra work. We got another boss. Skeleton. No, it's a dude wearing the ghost sheet. Again, I did not look at the thing. Definitely not an orc. That is so funny. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. He's definitely not an orc. He's definitely a ghost. A Charlie Brown ghost. I don't know why I ever thought different. Okay, we're two levels away from Ugi, so I do think we should invest in this one. Death comes for you, honey buns. <laughs> kinda don't love that this is on the upper one, but it's too leveled up now that I can't. I'm not gonna move it. to drop 100 gold for me? The two of them? Hmm. They really want me to take slow cooker. The forking. Fork you. Like a encampment here too because those teleporting dudes are concerning because if they can get here and then teleport past this that's like that's gonna hurt me so 
1700 there is a lot of money. Waiting. Now we can check out what's going on. There's an ungodly amount of mines in here. Can you just like die? Thank you. Um. No, no. Maybe. Not necessarily interested. I think I want this. I need to put chapstick on. My lips are burning. They're so dry. Oh. I mean, I know I talked about how my partner and I have seen, like, a ton of movies this last little bit. But. Okay. We got Soul Shepherd 80, by the way. I don't want to throw down. It won't benefit us this round anyway, which is brutal, but. I still have enough money. But. I feel like I've become, like, more of a movie watcher just in general over the last like two years i think because we have had like nothing to do there haven't been too many games that i have been into like there have been amazing games that have come out over the last two years but they're just not games that i have been completely invested in either playing or watching and so i feel like we've just kind of been like oh like what do you want to do and then we end up watching movies and so we've caught up on a lot of like vintage movies i.e like movies from the 80s and 90s um but then also, oh my god, they're all flames. But then also, like, we have been watching, like, some new movies. And some that are a little bit more outside the box. Though that's something we started doing, I'd say, a couple of years ago. When we really started to run out of things to do. You know when you've been with somebody, like, for a long time? Like, obviously, like, it's fun and it's fine and it's nice to have the companionship. But you're just like, man, we are just we're boring <laughs> like we don't we just do the same things and so then you watch all the movies and you're like okay well we've seen all the movies so we gotta find other movies we've watched all the shows so we need to find other shows we've played all the games so we need to find other games perfect and so that's kind of where we're at is like okay well this is not something neither or either of us are super into or maybe it's something one person's into but the other's like really reluctant to watch but that's kind of been the bonus of it because it means that my partner and i are watching things that we definitely wouldn't watch independently and because we have such like different interests and backgrounds in schooling and stuff and then also just different personalities. I feel like it's kind of cool because sometimes with certain movies we can actually have like a in-depth conversation after. Which I think all of this is what I'm trying to say is I think I'm just a wannabe movie buff now. Where I'm like I want to be like a movie critic. I want to be somebody that like can pull a quote or a quip from like any movie out there. I don't think I will ever get to that point. Also because I have the memory of a potato. But... It is like an interesting concept to be like, huh, okay. I want to put an encampment there. Hmm. I see a chest. This is okay. Can't take it, can't- well, we could, we could. This is also good. Hmm. More poison or slow? Bleed, banditry, or fortification? I think we're gonna go for bleed. Okay. We don't have a ton of money. I do need to expand this because if this turned, this would end up portaling. So... I've kind of just been leaving all my ballista on progress, but they are kind of just working. So 
so I'm kind of like okay with it, I guess. I do like the amount of stagger we've kind of got going on. It seems to be working, like, weirdly well for us. And it is nice to get past second Ubi two times in a row. Though not on the same day. It is back to back. So I'm, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping the pride of it. Look at these little guys cruise. They kind of look like, I was going to say like little nutcrackers, but they, I think they're supposed to be flames. So they're kind of like little flambos. They are getting farther. So these guys are going to have to put in some work, which is good because it'll level them up, but it's also concerning because I don't want that. They might not have to, never mind, they did not have to put in work this time. Yes, queen. Just make sure that I'm looking at everything before I take something. I do see the bottleneck of finances really starting to get us, where I'm like, we need to put more down, but we just don't have the monetary capabilities to put more down. Okay, we got Zubo, or Zubu. A lot he coming. With his little glowing red eyes. Take it. You're just going. Zap. Zap. Is that brown again? I think this is good for us. I think this is good for us. I'm curious. Will this hit over here, do you think? I'm gonna demolish this for a No. But a ballista will. rock. I thought it was like a little like um also we are getting a lot of the boys who don't get affected by bleed or overall damage over time effects. So I'm very happy that we invested so heavily in the encampments and the, the just straight shield armor health effects. Except this guy's got an immense amount of shield and has made it that far is there there's quite a few of them. to get better at shield damage. For sure. I might even just invest in these ones to do that.
They're getting exercise. Because I don't think any of these guys will make it, but at least they're putting in some work. Yeah, that was good. I'm happy with how that all turned out. Finally, burn damage. I think this is better than on the ballistas. Or on the encampments. Though, let's try the encampments. Because the ballistas have a lot, so... Okay, we got tough. He's looking a little tough. Go for it, yeah. No, let's go that. They can still get poisoned, which is good to see. right here. Oh, this guy's not gonna be okay. Oh, that was a lot of damage. They can also burn, even though I think they're made of rock. Maybe they're made of, like, mold. Maybe they're, like, zombies. Well, they wouldn't- they don't look like zombies. I'm trying to think of things that don't have blood. Before Tuff can even hit them! Okay, well... It's fine. This scares me. So I think I'm gonna go for punji sticks. I do like a crit chance. I do like this as well. We are struggling with shield, though. But I think I honestly would just rather go for... Because we already see that the a lot of the guys are going to start, if it's the same progression of enemies, which it kind of seems like this game likes to do, they're going to start um, more and more are going to be immune to damage over time with that. them it just gives the encampments more time to throw more things out which is good $2,100 is so expensive but I think it's worth especially in this location We're nowhere near 2100. I don't think we'll hit 2100 this round. Anyone knows up here? You would tell. In here, you would definitely tell there's that dude, and then there's these dudes. Yeah. I don't think these guys will make it there. They might. No, I'm never mind. I rescind. They will not. Also, we might make it to 2100. Depends how much you drop. We dropped 35. We did not make it to 2100. Um, a little late. This could be good, but I think I'd rather just go for straight armor. I know shields is where we need the help, but look, we're trying. Oh, another fork in the road, dude. I 
I know I didn't beat that one up. I think they'll be fine. Okay. Ang is going. He is spinning. Ang did not last long. More poison damage. Sure. I can get the guys that are like with the least health getting yoded. Let's go for near death and then least health. Yoded so they're not wasting my landmines, hopefully. Near death is like the first one the other way, yeah. I'd love to get more health damage, actually, on, like, things just down here, but it's fine. Deal bleed, but we got, like, guys that don't have damage over time. Again, range, I don't think, is a major impact. Ugh. I think I'm gonna go for this. They're all kind of like damage over time focused, a little too damage over time pilled, but. Many are getting through here. <laughs> They're wobbling. Could use some ballista shield damage as well. Oh, maybe not. Well, you're not new. You're not really new either. Never mind, maybe we don't need both to shield that much. This guy's gone. Yep. Yeah. And you'll get gone in a bit. Then you're next. This is my last ditch ever. Holy. It's better than this. All towers, though, gain shield damage. I'd love to save up. I know I keep saying that, but it's honest. It ain't much, but it's the honest truth. I don't like this stretch with nothing, because I feel like they are getting through here and healing, like if they have any kind of heal over time.
Okay, who do we got here? Cathar Horror. He's spinning the other way this time. He's spinning upwards like the tornado. Little baby Cathar Horror, who is healing shield. are getting to this point that I'm comfortable with. Okay. I kinda think I want this. I know that was dumb, but I don't care. we do some chopping if we have any chopping to do. In fact, it doesn't look like we have any trees. Oh, there's one here. Does that actually give me like 1100? Holy. No wonder trees don't spawn in the late game. because that whole side like has no mines on it now. Come on, give me 23. Oh, we are fucked. Pardon my language. Totally. I just don't have it in them, I don't think. No, not even close. Man, we just ran out of money. I don't know if we're gonna die, but we're gonna be very close if we go. We know this. We know this to be true. We're really struggling with this pathway.
Elemental Ubi. Six element Ubi. Well, he's frozen. Oh, and we got a mini boss, which is a painting. Uh. benefits us at all. I don't know why I chose that. I was under pressure. I'm mad that that guy hit, hit the thing. It did way more damage. Oh, that's her. Where's AJ? trees and or any things yet? No. We did get a university thing. None of these are actually like that good for us, but like it. Yes. Huh. I don't know what this does, but it sounds good. I don't care. I don't care. I guess. Okay. I hate how unstaggered this area is. It's ruining me. Because there's so many exits. So I think we need to focus our attention there. I also think we need more or less guys to be getting here. Which means more encampments somewhere along the route here that are doing shield damage. trees hey and we need to fill in this area because they're healing in here and I don't like that the triangles they come in the pyramids though I don't think they're actually pyramids because they only have triangle bottoms didn't die and aren't close to dying right now either 
which is weirdly nice. Um. Hmm. Crits and crits, but if they're not getting, they're not accumulating damage. I should have seen that they were. Um. What do we have more of? I think we have more poison. No, we got equivalent there. What about on my encampments? Oh, we have more poison on my encampments. Okay, let's do this then. from all of these exits being, like, not staggered. Oh. We got four sore, or four score. Not to be mixed up with uh, four square. Probably this. Twenty seven hundred. Oh, my good golly. I'm you guys are making money though off the houses, but you're probably not making that much. Shapes! Feels like I'm on Sesame Street. Also, they didn't even color them! Like, this guy's white like the triangle, so now how are your like, are you gonna tell them apart? Practically treating me like I'm colorblind. Like, I don't know what shape that is now. Could be square, could be triangle. strat is to just save up for encampments endlessly and see how that goes over for us. I guess I don't stack up. Oh! I don't know, man. I'm telling you, like, dad jokes, dad humor. I crossed the threshold. It's like my, my shit now. I need to just become a dad. I'd be a good dad. I like sports. I like playing sports. Biking. Hmm. We're struggling with shield. It 
If this was the poison version, I think I'd go for this, but... These are, like, just really good, though. <laughs> or hit the- we hit the portal point. It's a little scary to see. guys just tanking them all to get rid of all of them for the boys that follow. Like this giant square, the sixth sense. Did you, uh, did you know I killed your friend, the sixth sense Yugi? Are you his father? Are you his sensei? Sensei? I'm telling you the dad joke. That's where I'm at now. I've hit that point in my life. take bandit tree because I would have been dead earlier if we had even taken one level of bandit tree. There are not a lot of cases where that happens, but man, we survived one today because of it. How many are here? They just threw another one in here. Oh, that was a level up. Oh, did Sixth Sense not drop anything, you freak? Absolute true monster. You didn't stack up. I don't even think just a flat one here could be like gold. Hmm. Always scares me. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna take the monster studies when I see them. I am gonna- we don't have enough money. I will not be doing that. I rescind. That's where my issue was. This is also like pretty rough, but... I miss what he said on the badge. Why do I exist? <laughs> mood. This one's rough. This is going to be very rough for us. I gotta find a way to thin the pack. Though I do kind of want to see them hit this. Though it's not as beefy as it was last time. This one's the beefy one this time. This is gonna be really rough. We might not make it out, actually. Oh, man, 
really? progress though still making progress okay do we have a monster thing that i can actually like quickly take a peek at monster manual okay we got goblin oh god that's not how i expected that to go we got goblins orcs armored goblins trolls are the big ones armored orcs battering ram cyclops we gotta zoom out holy good golly we have witches i feel like i've never seen the witches bats zombies i've seen the skeletons Spirits and shadows, orbs, they're just called an orb. The liches are the guys that are like, not burdened by blood. I have apparently not seen these two. That's embarrassing. Um, so vampires, ghouls, mummies, ghosts. So you can predict what route you're gonna go. If you're gonna get the haunted, the undead, or the ephemeral route. And we just got the ephemeral. Quote unquote ghost. Whew. That's so funny. And then... I wonder if it always goes above to below, or if it can actually go side to side. But we clearly got this one, and then went to this one. Imp, we did get that one last time. But I want to say we have this one, so maybe it can just pick one, which is brutal. And, like, obviously we've never really had this one, because I haven't even made it to here. Um... I'm gonna assume all of these are shapes. Oh yeah, the little buttholes. Okay. Oh, is there not like types of oogies? I want a type of oogie list. Is it in here? No. Okay, that was good though. That was good. I think we pivot to some Skyrim for a little bit here. And then that's that. Yay! Yay! Oh god, I'm struggling. There we go. 